Well, you see it right there. You hear a bit of it. A tense evening at a Tiger church where a community is discussing a proposed solution to the local homeless crisis. A few hundred people packed in for tonight's meeting. Some wanted to learn more about this program, which would allow the homeless to park in the church's parking lot. Others were outright against it. Jamie Seymour was there and she heard from both sides. What did they tell you, Jamie? Jeff, Liz, this was intended to be an informational session as the church considers letting a nonprofit use three of their parking spots, but things quickly escalated. A packed parking lot as a Tiger Church considers hosting a safe parking program for those living out of their cars. These in particular don't belong to the homeless. They belong to the hundreds of concerned residents inside the church where tensions ran high. And while some appeared to be for the program, many others not so much. Christ the King Lutheran Church hosted an informational meeting Tuesday for the surrounding community to get answers about the potential program, which would be run by nonprofit Just Compassion. This is an opportunity to open a space that is safe, hygienic, clean, monitored, and managed. The church would offer up two to three parking spots, not the entire lot, for passenger vehicles only. No RVs, no trailers, connecting folks to services during the day. Some neighbors say they're concerned about others coming to the area outside of the limited program. Who is to say that other people that they're friends with or that know that their services here or a porta potty are not going to start parking on 114th? The Hamiltons share a fence line with the church parking lot and say they worry about the program actually being what is pitched. It causes us to question because things haven't been always as they have been pitched in the past, so it causes concern. Just Compassion says those in the program go through a criminal background check and agree to a contract. So these are individuals who haven't been in their situations that long and they're trying to get back on their feet. One of those, a woman in her 70s who found herself evicted and living out of her car when her son suddenly died, later getting connected to the safe parking program. Those circumstances were beyond my control. I got chased out of parking lots. But with concerns still high, some in the crowd continued to shout as the woman shared her story. A tense night of people talking over one another and no real answer if the program will definitely take root there. Now, if they do choose to implement that safe parking program, organizers hope that it could go into effect starting in March. Reporting live in Tiger, Jamie Seymour, Point Six News.